Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Priti, and in this video we will see how to work with Power Automate Dataverse Add New Row. What does that mean? That means how we can add a new row or how we can insert a new row in a Dataverse table using Power Automate. So basically what happens? Sometimes we need to add or insert records in Dataverse table manually one by one. But it literally takes so much time and we don't have much time for that. To avoid such type of cases, we can use Power Automate that will add a new row in the Dataverse table automatically whenever an action takes place. So let's take a scenario and understand what exactly it happens. Here you can see this is my Dataverse table name that is called IT issue resolutions and this table has some kind of columns like sender, issues, report date and status. So sender is my primary column having with single line of text data, issues also is a single line of text data, report date is a date type and status is a choice column. So what will happen in this case when someone will send an issue or someone will report an issue to your inbox then the flow will trigger and all the details all the issue information will store in this dataverse table like what is the name of the sender or what is the mail of the sender what is the issue what is the report date and what is its status so every information will store in this dataverse table that means by using power automate it will store or it will create a new record or it will add a new row in this Dataverse table. So let's jump to the Power Automate that how we can achieve these needs. For this, open a new tab, provide the URL like flow.microsoft.com to open the Power Automate. Just click on the sign in. Once you will sign in, just go to this create and here you can see various type of flow like automated cloud flow, instant cloud flow, scheduled cloud flow, desktop flow and the process advisor. So as we wanted to do is an automatic process. So that's why I click on the automated cloud flow. Once you will click on this automated cloud flow, just provide a flow name like I will provide like Dataverse add a new row. Then choose your flows trigger here you can choose your flows trigger means at what condition the flow will trigger in our case when we will get an email or when someone will report an issue to your inbox then only the flow will trigger so in this case just search it when an email arrives so just select this second one this is version 3 and just click on the create button once we will create the flow, the flow will look like this. So here you can see the folder will be inbox. Let it be. Don't change anything. Just click on the new step over here. Click on this and here you can just search like add a new row. Once you will search it, just select the Microsoft Dataverse and just click on the add a new row premium version. So here you can see the table name. You need to choose the table name. As per our requirement, my table Dataverse table name is IT issue resolution. So here we will search where is the IT issue resolution. Just select it. Based upon your requirement, you just choose your Dataverse table and you just select it from the drop down menu. IT issue resolution. So here it is click on it and then you can see the sender and once you will click on the so advanced option all the like you will see all the data was filled like report date status and then just the sender field just click on it and you can see like when a new email arrives v3 we will choose the from under the dynamic content so just click on it and we can choose the issues like our subject and the report date we can choose age receive time but make sure everything we will choose when a new email arrives under the dynamic content so just select the receive time and the status 
is it is a choice column so based upon that you can choose your choice values like i will choose over here pending so that's the thing now what will happen once the new record has been created inside the dataverse table we need to send a successful notification to that sender that your issue or your report has been submitted successfully so what we'll do for that just click on this plus new step and here just search send an email so once we'll send an email just click on this office 365 outlook v2 okay so in this here two field what we need to do just click on the add dynamic content we will send to the sender okay so based upon that we will choose the from so from means where we got that report issue so click on this from under the when a new email arrives so just click on it and the subject we can choose like we can provide any subject line or otherwise we can choose from here also add a new row section here i will write it like uh, your issue has been submitted so in the body section what i will write like hi then here we can choose like from so from means the sender name or email sender email just hi then sender email then here your form or your report has been submitted successfully we will ensure that your issue will resolve soon and here just thanks ds info thing so now or one more thing if you want to mention this report or issue over here then what we can do just give the bracket and just inverted comma inside the inverted comma you can choose the issue like issue this one so add a under the add a new row section just select the issues so now also you can bold it like so only the issue things will bold sorry just select it properly from here to here and you can see over the bold here so it is bold now everything is completed so let's save the flow first just click on the save also you can see over here the flow checker option if any issues will be there in your flow then it will mention your issues you can click once and you can see all the errors and if it is there means if any error is there in your flow then you can check it and you can resolve it so you can see your flow is ready to go we recommend you to test it so in this case just click on test button and as we wanted to do it manually just click on just select the manually option and click on the test button over here so now you can see it will tell like to see it work now send a new email in your in inbox so that means you need to send an email to your inbox and after that the flow will trigger so for this thing what i will do i will um, like i used another user like user2 so user2 at the rate tsnfortechnologies.com here i will create a new email like uh, to my name it is priti so in the subject line you can provide your subject line anything like uh, like you can provide the system hang issue and in the body section you can write hi team my system is getting a lot of times while working so please resolve my issue as sub and you can mention thanks so now i will send this email click on send and then go to that flow once you can see the flow will run successfully you can see over here just wait a minute and you can see the flow has been ran successfully once the flow ran successfully you can see the screen like this like everything green color and you will get a notification that your flow ran successfully now go to your like particular 
Dataverse table like ITSU resolution. So once you refresh the Dataverse table, you can see all the issue details like the sender email, the issue, the report date, and the status is pending. It's like this screen. So once this item has been added into the Dataverse table, again the sender will get a notification that their item or their report has been submitted to the specific team. Okay, so if I will go to that user, you can see. So here you can see that mail like hi, this is the sender name, and like the body, like your issue, like system hang issue has been submitted successfully, and our technical team will connect to you soon. So this type of mail the sender will get. So this is all about to add a new row in Dataverse table using Power Automate. So if you want to know more details about this thing, then you can visit our site like spguides.com and you can find out this post like this whole post in that site only. And also you will get this article link in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit this bell icon button for more videos like this. Thank you so much and have a nice day.